Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode, and welcome my friends to something slightly different on the channel. That is, by the way, my first scary pumpkin, and when I click it, it says flower. That is cool. That is really cool. So as I was going to say, guys, we're going to do something slightly different in this episode. We are going to talk about five new update features, which I really want to see inside of the game. Hopefully by at least, I would say, February or March 2017, so maybe three to five months' time. Now, as I said, there are five new different features we are going to talk about, and for the first time ever, I have never tweeted a video at Supercell in my life. I am actually going to tweet this video to Supercell, guys. Guys. So if you like anything you hear in this video, if you want to see any one of these features inside of the game, make sure you drop a like on this episode, guys, and let me know down below in that comment section, what one change do you want to see inside of COC? So we are about to get ourselves into the first new update feature, which will hopefully be coming into the game. Now, the reason why this is a big one is because it affects every single town hall level. Do not forget, we are giving away $1,000 on the 31st of October. Four days time, this Monday, 1,000 US dollars is up for grabs on this channel. If you want the chance to win, all you need to do is sub to the channel, keep your ears open. I will let you know what's going on, guys. Sub to the channel and stay tuned. So here we go, update idea number one. I'm sure you have all heard of daily challenges, but how about something slightly different? So this is a big one, this is a big one. So basically over the last couple of years we've only had really one set of single player maps in the game, the goblin maps guys. Don't get me wrong, they're absolutely fun, they're amazing, but they're old. They are really, really old and we don't just need new single player maps. So hear me out and if you like this idea, as I said, make sure you drop a like on the episode guys and let me know your thoughts about it. So new single player maps, check. We need them. Chuck them in the basket, but well, I've got to add something else into the actual basket, guys. So check this out. We want to add new daily challenges. Now, these daily challenges are going to be unlocked at Town Hall level 2, maybe 3, maybe even Town Hall level 4. But by at least Town Hall level 5, you need access to these daily challenges. Now, what they're going to allow you to do, you can use all the heroes, you can use all the troops, you can use all the defenses, you can use every single feature in the game. No matter what Town Hall level you are, you will have the option to use these actual features. Now, inside of these daily challenges, you are going to be able to test your skill level. You will be able to test ground attacks, air attacks. You will be able to see what works and all the new features which you haven't yet unlocked. So it's really going to give you inspiration to keep playing the game. Now, as I said, these daily challenges are going to be pumped out every 24 hours and every single time the daily challenge is going to change. It could be a hard one one day. The next challenge, it could be something which makes you think a real strategy to it. And the next day, it may be just something completely different just like a ground attack so basically to conclude the first new update feature which we're talking about guys we want to see some sort of daily challenge plus single player maps we want you single player maps maybe a hundred we'll take a hundred a hundred would be great and then daily challenges on top now this really isn't going to take supercell too long to do i mean come on they have a team of 15 people if they employ another five people, okay, wait, let's just take that out of the equation. They don't even need to employ anyone else, guys. They have a team of 15 people which work on this game. It really doesn't take long to create a new map, a new challenge every 24 hours. I mean, you can assign it to a new team member every single day so you don't get stressed out. You don't have to, you know, put loads of time into it. Every single day, we could have a new challenge and this challenge is going to offer every single player the option to try out the heroes, the spells, the Dark Elixir spells, all the troops, even if you're only Town Hall level 4 or 5. Leave a thumbs up if you want to see that. So now we're going to go straight into update idea number 2. Now obviously, as I said at the start of this episode, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but apparently the statistics for this game show that the lower Town Hall levels seem to be fading away, and the higher Town Hall levels, so Town Hall 11, 10, 9, even Town Hall 8 and 7, seem to be, you know, playing a lot of the game, but the lower Town Hall levels, the new players, don't seem to be playing it like they used to. They give up or they play it very infrequently. Now, the reason why apparently this is happening is because the game has proceeded so far into the future that the lower Town Hall levels are just quitting because they know they can never become a maxed out Town Hall 11 player. And loads of them are actually asking that there are no more updates for a long time. So these lower Town Hall levels don't want to see new updates, guys. But of course, the higher Town Hall levels the people who really spend the money on the game want to see new update features, so Supercell are going to listen to them. So in order to balance it out, a new change has to come in, and this could be in the form of the shipwreck. 
For those of you that don't know what the shipwreck is, it was basically an update leak leaked by Chief Spencer over on Reddit about, I think, about two weeks ago, and it pretty much just goes into the sea, guys, because, you know, we've all got the little bit of ocean on the bottom left-hand side of our base. It pretty much just goes into the ocean, and it grabs you gold elixir. I'm not sure if it grabs you dark elixir and gems. That hasn't yet been confirmed, guys, but apparently it will be grabbing you loot. It will bring it back to you on a daily basis, so it's going to help the lower town hall levels farm up their base a lot quicker without needing to put in as much time. And although loads of people are going to complain, the higher town hall levels may say, why are you helping out the lower town hall levels? We've had to farm all this way. Don't forget, guys, this is actually needed to keep the game alive, because if we don't have these lower town hall levels, then Supercell may not put as much effort into COC, and they may put more effort into Royale, which appears to be what they're doing currently. We don't really have, you know, too many COC competitions, but of course that is fair enough. Royale is the new game, and that is probably the one with a brighter future. Moving swiftly on to update idea number three, something which should have been added into the game two weeks ago with a big update. I'm not talking about the Halloween update, that completely sucked, guys. I'm talking about the big update with the new troop levels and the new defense levels. Now, this is going to be all about a new trap. Now, the reason why we need a new trap in the game, let's just look at what Supercell made this game for. Why did they create COC? Apart from making money, Apart from that, guys, they created this game because it is all about strategy. This game makes you think, well, if you add more traps into the game, at least one new trap, then it's going to make the attacking opposition think where those traps are, how they can go around them, and maybe how they can get the base down to a three-star in the most efficient way. If you don't add new traps and you just show everything on the map, all the defenses, they're all visible. If you don't add things which are hidden... Then how, how is it meant to be, you know, a real strategy game, guys? I mean, you don't go into a war attack in real life knowing where all the opponents are. You want something to be hidden. You want something to be a little bit suspicious. Maybe he's going to have, you know, 10 big bombs in this part of the base. Maybe we could have, like, a sinkhole on that part of the base or something like that. So I would love to see a new trap. Not something small and crappy, something big, something bad, something which is really going to cause your troops damage. If you want to see that, this is probably my favorite of the, uh, the five features, guys. Drop a like on this video and let me know one trap idea which you have. So moving on to update idea number four, some more new features coming into the game. Now, these are pretty much guaranteed over the next couple of weeks, maybe next couple of months. I would say next months, guys, not few weeks, because it is very unlikely we're going to be receiving this over the next couple of weeks. But basically, I like what they've been doing inside of Clash Royale. They have shown us, they have shown the players what they're going to be receiving, and they have given them a distance between each card. Now, that's cool. Because it gives the players something to look forward to, and it also keeps you locked on the game. So why can't we have something similar for COC? Maybe we receive, I know this is big guys, maybe we, re we could receive three new troops at once. They could show us three different troops. So maybe a dark troop, then an elixir troop, then another dark troop. That would give us the inspiration to play the game, to max out our bases, to keep farming. And of course, you give us one troop every couple of weeks. As I said, it's a great idea that they do in Clash Royale, so I don't really see why we couldn't have that inside a COC. To be honest with you, if this was my game, I would have, you know, quite a few more troop options inside of the game. I don't know where they vary the, uh, where they actually, you know, pull back the new troops so much inside of this game. I mean, the Lava Hound, between the Lava Hound and the Bowler took over a year, a year and a half to bring out another troop. Then the Bowler, we received the, uh, the Baby Dragon and the Miner shortly after. They were both from Clash Royale, so it kind of took the fun out of it. And then, of course, we were kind of expecting another Dark Troop, maybe this update, but we didn't receive one. So the final feature, guys, and one that has definitely been slacking. In fact, I think the traps have been slacking the most, but this one has also been slacking. So this is update idea number five. Now, obviously, the Dark Spell Factory came out a very long time ago, and we only have four Dark Spells. We've got the Skeleton Spell, which you could say is a variable of the Lightning Spell, but of course, it, it it's kind of a, it's very efficient. I do like the Poison Spell, don't get me wrong. But it is, you know, in some way similar to some of the uh, the actual elixir spells. You then have the skeleton spell. It's very unique. I like it. It's cool. And it's very fun. But I don't think a lot of people actually use it. You have the earthquake spell. Probably one of the most used spells in the game. One of the best spells in the game. And I think it is perfect. The earthquake spell is absolutely insane. And then you have the haste spell. Definitely a very cool spell as well. Loads of air users use the haste spell. So I couldn't fault that at all. But we still want some more options, and maybe even some more options in the Elixir spells. So the last spell we received in terms of Elixir was the Clone spell, and that is by far the worst feature in the game still. Even though they buffed it in the last update, guys, no one really uses it. 
I know a few people do use it guys, especially inside of the uh, the actual really high leagues like the Legend League, but it still really isn't used at all in comparison to other spells. I mean, people use all the other spells a lot more, and that is by far the newest spell in the game. So we would love to see some variety in there. If you would like to see any of these features added into the game guys, make sure you drop a like on this video and let me know down below in that comment section which one is your favourite and which change would you love to see? So we are going to end this video here. There will be a usual episode out in a couple of hours time. We are continuing our trophy push to hopefully one day reach the top 1,000 global players. Hopefully sometime by Christmas time. We will be in the top 1,000 players in the world. I've been messing around with air attacks, but it just costs so much elixir. Each one of these air attacks costs over half a million elixir. Way too expensive, so I think I'm going to go back to ground until we maybe get close to the Titans 1 League. So I will see you shortly. Have a great evening, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, sub to the channel. Peace out.